Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. This section shows Mita's Tires Factory and explains how tires are produced, highlighting each stage in detail. Extruding and Calendaring The first stage in tire production involves the creation of various rubber components. After mixing the rubber compound in a laboratory and ensuring it meets quality standards, the rubber is formed into sheets. These sheets are then processed through extruder machines to create the tread and sidewall components. Calendaring is used to produce the inner liner. The extruders produce continuous sheets of tread rubber, which are then cooled and cut to specific tire lengths. Rubber coating. The mixed rubber compound is used to coat sheets of cords, such as nylon, polyester, and steel, on both sides. These coated sheets are then cut at the correct angle, which determines the tire's characteristics. These sheets are crucial for casing belts and other plies. Bead wire. Bead wires are made by aligning and coating steel wires with rubber. These coated wires are then wound into coils to form bead rings. The number of loops and the shape of the bead wire are specific to each tire's design. Tire building. At this stage, all the tire components are assembled. Tire building begins with the sidewall and rim strip, followed by the bead lining, inner liner, and two carcass plies. Bead cores are placed on the building drum, and the ply edges are wrapped around the bead core. The side walls are then moved into position, and the tire is reshaped. After inflation, belts and tread rubber are applied, creating a green tire that closely resembles the final product. The difference between radial and bias ply tires. There are two main types of tires, older bias ply tires and newer radial ply tires. In bias ply tires, the cord is laid at an angle of 60 degrees relative to the tire's movement, forming a crisscross pattern. In radial ply tires, the cord in the casing ply is laid at a right angle to the center of the tread. Radial ply tires are more complicated to produce but offer benefits such as fuel efficiency, longer lifespan, improved comfort, and reduced soil pressure in the case of agricultural tires. Curing after tire building, green tires are cured in a process called vulcanization. The green tire is covered with a solution that helps it fill the mold. It is then placed in a curing press where heat and pressure are applied. The heat causes the rubber compound to become plastic and fill the mold. Vulcanization occurs as the polymers in the rubber are linked by sulfur, creating a three-dimensional pattern of interlinked polymers. The curing process gives the tire its final shape and characteristics. The duration of curing varies, with passenger car tires taking only a few minutes and agricultural tires requiring up to two hours. Before leaving the manufacturing plant, each tire undergoes finishing and final inspection. This involves trimming the tire to meet specific requirements and conducting visual inspections for surface defects. Testing machines measure central and lateral runout compliance with industry standards. Tires containing steel cords are inspected by X-ray for internal defects. The final inspection ensures that each tire meets quality and safety standards before it is ready for dispatch to customers. Tire retreading is a sustainable and cost-effective solution that extends the life of tires, reducing waste and operating costs for fleets. In this part, we will explore the intricacies of the tire retread process. The initial inspection serves as the cornerstone of the tire retreading process. Its primary objective is to assess the condition of the tire casing and determine whether it is suitable for retreading. Visual inspection involves a thorough examination of the tire's external surfaces. Technicians meticulously search for visible defects, including cuts, bulges, punctures, and separations. 
They also inspect the sidewalls and bead areas for any signs of damage. Additionally, electronic detection tools, such as ultrasound or X-ray scanning, may be used to uncover internal structural damage that might not be visible to the naked eye. The outcomes of the initial inspection determine the tire's fate. If the casing passes the inspection and is deemed suitable for retreading, it proceeds directly to the scraping process. However, if the tire is found to be beyond repair or not suitable for retreading, it is returned to the customer. Scraping process. This step involves the meticulous removal of the old tread and any residual debris from the tire casing. The goal is to create a clean, properly contoured, and texturized surface on the casing, ready to receive the new tread. Highly specialized buffing machines are deployed for this critical task. These machines are designed to carefully strip away the worn-out tread, ensuring that the underlying casing remains undamaged. As technicians guide the tire through the buffing process, they pay close attention to hidden defects that may be lurking beneath the surface. Objects like sharp rocks or glass embedded in the casing are discovered and promptly removed, and any structural issues are addressed. The scraping process is fundamental to the retreading process, as it ensures that the casing provides a suitable foundation for the application of the new tread. It also serves as an opportunity to identify and rectify any previously undetected defects that could compromise the tire's integrity and safety. The reaming process is a crucial step that contributes to the successful adhesion of the new tread to the prepared casing. This procedure involves the use of specialized reaming tools that create a rough texture on the casing surface. The rough texture generated by the reaming process enhances the casing's bonding potential. It provides an ideal surface for the cementing process that follows, ensuring that the new tread securely adheres to the casing. This step, often overlooked by those unfamiliar with the retreading process, is essential for the long-term performance and safety of the retreaded tire. Cementing Process during this phase, a bonding agent or cement is applied to the casing surface. This cement serves as the adhesive that facilitates the secure bonding of the new tread. Highly skilled technicians carefully apply a layer of cement to the prepared casing, ensuring that it covers the surface evenly and consistently. After the application of cement, the casing is allowed to cure for a specific period. This curing time is crucial, as it allows the cement to reach the desired level of tackiness for tread application. The cementing process sets the stage for the next step, where the new tread will be applied to the casing. Filling process. The filling process is essential for achieving the desired contour and shape on the casing before the new tread is applied. This step may involve the addition of cushioning or filling materials, depending on the tire type and specific requirements. Technicians carefully evaluate the casing's shape and may use extruded rubber cushion or other appropriate materials to fill in gaps and create a smooth, even surface. Ensuring the proper contour is critical as it sets the stage for the secure adhesion of the new tread during the subsequent building process. The building process is a pivotal stage in the intricate journey of transforming worn-out tire casings into reliable, high-performing retreaded tires. It represents the point at which the new tread is meticulously applied to the prepared casing, creating a retreaded tire that adheres to stringent quality and safety standards. The significance of the building process The building process holds a central position in the tire retread cycle. It is where the tire's functional heart, the new tread, is fused with the prepared casing. The key objectives of this phase are precise alignment, ensuring that the new tread aligns accurately with the desired tread pattern and specifications, 
as per the tire's intended purpose and performance requirements. Uniformity. Achieving uniformity in the tread width, design, and composition to meet customer specifications and industry standards. Bonding. Establishing a strong and enduring bond between the new tread and the casing, vital for safety and performance. Tread splicing. If required, in cases where the tread material comes in long strips, technicians must meticulously splice and join the ends to attain the desired tread circumference. Craftsmanship. The building process demands a high level of craftsmanship, precision, and attention to detail to ensure that the resulting retreaded tire is safe, reliable, and fit for purpose. Procedures in the building process. The building process is executed with meticulous care and precision. The following steps outline the procedures involved. Tread application. Highly skilled technicians apply the new tread to the prepared casing. This step is a delicate dance that requires exacting attention to detail. The technicians ensure that the tread aligns precisely with the desired tread pattern and specifications. The specific tread width, design, and composition are selected based on the tire's intended purpose and performance requirements. Tread splicing, if required, in scenarios where the tread material comes in long strips, the technicians must splice and join the ends to achieve the desired tread circumference. This operation involves carefully matching the ends of the tread material and creating a secure bond. The precision of this step is essential to ensure the tread's integrity and uniformity. Uniformity check. Technicians meticulously inspect the tread application to verify that it adheres to the required specifications and standards. Any deviations from the prescribed dimensions or design are addressed to maintain uniformity. Bonding. Ensuring a strong and enduring bond between the new tread and the casing is paramount for safety and performance. Technicians utilize the preparation work done during the initial inspection, scraping, reaming, and cementing processes to achieve optimal adhesion. Quality assurance. At every step, technicians conduct quality checks to confirm that the tread application meets the highest standards of workmanship. Any irregularities or imperfections are addressed promptly. Craftsmanship. The building process demands a high degree of craftsmanship, as even minor discrepancies in tread alignment or bonding can impact the tire's safety and performance. Technicians take pride in their role as tire artisans, ensuring that each retreaded tire emerges as a meticulously crafted product. Statistics on the number of retreaded tires. The practice of retreading tires has a significant impact on the tire industry and the environment. It is a sustainable solution that extends the life of tires, reduces waste, and contributes to cost savings for fleet operators. While the exact number of retreaded tires may vary from year to year, retreading remains a prominent industry practice. Here are some key statistics on the number of retreaded tires. Global retread market size. The global retread tire market size was estimated to be around 150 million units annually, with varying figures depending on the source and year. This figure highlights the substantial scale of the retread industry. North America. North America has been a significant market for retreaded tires, with an estimated retread market size of around 30 million units annually. 
It's a region where retreading plays a critical role in optimizing the life cycle of commercial truck tires. Europe. The European retread market is also robust, with countries like Germany, the UK, and France having substantial retreading operations. The region contributes significantly to the global retread tire market. Asia Pacific. The Asia Pacific region has seen growth in the retread market, driven by the expansion of commercial vehicle fleets. Countries like China and India have witnessed increased retreading activity. Environmental impact. Retreading reduces the demand for new tire production, resulting in reduced resource consumption and lower carbon emissions. The practice aligns with sustainability goals, making it an environmentally responsible choice. The wrapping process is a crucial element of the packing phase, where the protective envelope or wrapping is securely fastened around the retreaded tire. This step is vital in ensuring that the protective covering remains in place, providing continuous support and protection. Technicians take great care to secure the wrapping tightly, leaving no room for movement or shifting during the curing process. This meticulous attention to detail safeguards the retreaded tire and preserves the integrity of the new treads bonding with the casing. The autoclave is the heart of the curing process, where the retreaded tire undergoes a controlled curing procedure to establish a strong and lasting bond between the new tread and the casing. One of the key mechanisms employed during curing is enveloping. A rubber membrane or envelope is placed around the tire, encompassing it from bead to bead. This envelope serves a vital role by creating a pressure differential between the inside of the casing and the outside of the tread. This pressure differential ensures that the new tread adheres securely to the casing, creating a strong and reliable bond. The final verification step is a crucial quality control measure that takes place before the retreaded tire is returned to service. Technicians conduct a thorough inspection of the retreaded tire, checking for various critical factors to ensure its quality and safety. The process of re-molding a tire is a meticulous and eco-friendly approach to extending the life of used tires, reducing waste, and providing cost-effective alternatives to consumers. The first step in the remolding process begins with the selection of high-quality, used tires that are suitable candidates for remolding. Each tire selected for remolding is assigned a unique serial number. The serial number is recorded in a database, ensuring that every tire can be tracked from the initial selection to the final product. Checking tire dimensions. Before remolding can begin, the dimensions of the tire are carefully checked to ensure they meet the manufacturer's specifications. Buffing. Roughing the surface. The old tread and any imperfections on the tire's surface are removed through a process called buffing or roughing. This step creates a clean and even surface for the remolding process. Wrapping the sidewall protection. A protective layer is applied to the tire's sidewalls. This layer helps protect the tire and provides added durability and resistance to wear and tear.
wrapping, building up tread. A new layer of tread rubber is applied to the tire surface. This is carefully done to create the desired tread pattern and thickness, ensuring optimal traction and performance. Molding, pressing the green tire. The tire, now with its new tread and protective layers, is placed in a mold and subjected to heat and pressure. This process is crucial for curing the new tread and bonding it securely to the tire's casing. The result of this meticulous process is a re-molded tire that not only extends the life of a used tire but also offers performance and safety comparable to a brand new tire. A semi-automatic tire building machine plays a pivotal role in the tire manufacturing process by assisting workers in creating the foundation of a high-quality tire. This sophisticated piece of equipment combines human expertise with precision engineering to ensure that every tire is built to exact specifications. The tire building process begins with the worker wrapping rubber around a drum body. This initial step is critical, as it sets the foundation for the tire's structural integrity. The worker carefully places layers of rubber onto the drum body and meticulously folds the edges of both ends. This step requires a high level of skill and precision to ensure that the rubber is evenly distributed and free of defects. Once the base layer is in place, the semi-automatic tire building machine takes over. It continues to wrap additional layers of rubber onto the drum body. These layers consist of various components, including inner liners, steel belts, and tread compounds, depending on the type of tire being produced. The machine's automation ensures that each layer is applied with consistency and precision, eliminating the risk of human error. One of the key features of the semi-automatic tire building machine is the roller system. This system consists of rollers that press and smooth each layer of rubber as it is applied to the drum body. The rollers play a crucial role in ensuring the perfect adhesion of different carcass ply layers. This is of utmost importance in tire manufacturing because it directly affects the tire's performance, durability, and safety. Perfect adhesion between carcass ply layers is essential to prevent delamination, which occurs when the layers of a tire separate from each other. Delamination can lead to tire failure and pose a significant safety hazard. The roller system on the tire building machine exerts consistent pressure, smoothing out imperfections and air pockets between the layers. This results in a tire with excellent uniformity and structural integrity. Furthermore, the roller system helps to evenly distribute the rubber compact, ensuring that the tire's weight is balanced. This is vital for reducing vibrations and providing a smooth and stable ride for the vehicle. Balanced weight distribution also extends the tire's lifespan and improves fuel efficiency. Preparing to manufacture brand new tires. Inserting rubber-coated steel wire for reinforcement. The foundation of a new tire begins with the insertion of rubber-coated steel wires, 
which provide the tire with structural integrity and reinforcement. Building up, wrapping the hard, base, portion of the tire. The base portion of the tire, made of a specialized compound, is carefully built up or wrapped around the steel wire reinforcement. This layer forms the tire's inner structure and contributes to its overall strength and stability. Molding, pressing the green tire. The tire, in its green or unvulcanized state, is placed into a mold. Heat and pressure are applied to shape the tire into its final form, including the desired tread pattern. This vulcanization process chemically bonds the rubber compounds, making the tire durable and resilient. The result of these meticulous steps is the creation of a brand new tire. These tires are known for their consistent quality, safety, and performance, meeting stringent industry standards. Mechanical concrete tire-derived cylinders represent a revolutionary approach to road construction and repair. This innovative technology involves using discarded tire sidewalls to create thin-walled cylinders, which are then laid down as a base for roads. These cylinders are filled with aggregates such as number 57 gravel, offering a strong and stable foundation for roadways. One of the key advantages of mechanical concrete is its cost effectiveness. Compared to traditional road construction methods, this approach can save up to 25% of the costs. This is because it requires less material, and there's no need for extensive compaction or water usage during installation. The resulting roads are durable and resistant to common issues like potholes and water damage. In practical applications, mechanical concrete has already proven its effectiveness. Roads built using this method have shown remarkable durability, even in high traffic areas like the vicinity of power plants and ballparks. By repurposing old tires and reducing maintenance expenses, mechanical concrete presents an environmentally friendly and economically viable solution to road infrastructure challenges. Processing large mining and OTR, off the road, tires presents unique challenges due to their immense size and the often remote locations where they are stockpiled. CM Shredders, a leading company in the field, offers innovative solutions to efficiently handle these tires. One of the primary challenges when processing mining and OTR tires is their sheer size. These tires often have bead bundles measuring 4 to 6 inches in diameter, and when shredded whole, the thickness of the rubber doubles, requiring multiple cuts to handle the third dimension. CM Shredders addresses these challenges with patented knife and screening systems, ensuring the production of high-quality tire chips. CM chip shredders are versatile and capable of processing materials for size reduction, destruction, recycling, and more. They can be equipped with standard one-piece hook and shear knives or CM's patented replaceable insert knives. The unique feature of CM's patented knife technology allows knives to be sharpened and reused up to six times, significantly reducing operating costs. This feature also ensures the cleanest cut chips with minimal exposed steel wire. The cost of knives and associated expenses related to knife changes are significant factors in operating shredders. CM's replaceable knife systems not only run longer between changes but are also quicker and more cost-effective to replace. This translates to a lower total cost of ownership, making CM's shredders highly competitive in the market.
CM primary hybrid shredders are known as the industry workhorses. They have the capacity to process OTR tires down to smaller passenger tires. In some cases, larger off-road tires may need to be pre-cut and debeated before processing. These shredders can turn whole tires into rough shreds for disposal or feed them to chipping shredders for producing specific size chips. These chips are crucial for various applications, including tire-derived aggregate TDA, or tire-derived fuel TDF, markets. Bailing of tires, often handled by machines like the HSM 3521 horizontal bailing press, is a crucial process in waste management and recycling. This equipment is designed to efficiently compress various materials, including tires, making them easier to handle, transport, and recycle. The HSM 3521 boasts an expansive loading aperture, allowing for the compression of large quantities of materials such as paper, cardboard, foils, packaging materials, and even foam. This versatility is essential in dealing with diverse waste streams. The hydraulic loading flap enhances operational comfort, while the hydraulic counterplate ensures safe and convenient bale removal. The process begins with manual loading of the materials into the baling press through the large opening. Once an adequate amount of material has been accumulated, the machine stored program controller PLC signals that a bale is ready to be formed. Tire recycling is a critical aspect of sustainable waste management, environmental preservation, and resource conservation. As the global population continues to grow, so does the production of rubber products, including tires. Consequently, the volume of discarded tires and rubber waste has surged, leading to significant environmental challenges. However, innovative solutions like the radial tire shredding machine provided by Max in India are playing a pivotal role in addressing these issues. In this section, we will delve into the importance of tire recycling solutions, focusing on the benefits of tire shredding machines and the recycling of rubber waste. The Role of Radial Tire Shredding Machines Radial tire shredding machines, like those offered by Max in India, play a central role in the tire recycling process. These machines are designed to efficiently and effectively shred tires and rubber waste into smaller, manageable pieces. Here are some key reasons why these shredding machines are essential. Volume Reduction one of the primary objectives of tire shredding machines is to reduce the volume of rubber waste. By breaking down tires and rubber products into smaller particles, these machines make it easier to handle, transport, and store the material. Facilitate recycling. Shredded rubber waste is more amenable to recycling processes. The smaller particle size increases the surface area available for processing, enabling more efficient extraction of valuable materials such as rubber, steel, and textile fibers. Versatility. Radial tire shredding machines can handle a wide range of rubber waste, from car tires to industrial rubber products. Their versatility makes them a valuable asset for various industries and recycling facilities. Environmental Benefits By reducing the volume of rubber waste and enabling recycling, these machines contribute to reduced landfill usage and lower environmental pollution. This, in turn, supports a cleaner and more sustainable environment. Cost Savings Tire shredding machines can help businesses and recycling facilities reduce operational costs by streamlining waste management processes and maximizing the value of recycled materials.
Understanding Rubber Waste Rubber waste encompasses a wide range of discarded rubber-containing products and industrial waste materials. These materials can include old and used tires, car mats, fenders, shoe soles, industrial rubber parts, and various other rubber goods like packing materials, gaskets, and O-rings. Additionally, rubber waste may also comprise rejected or waste materials generated during the manufacturing processes of rubber products. Max and India's rubber and tire shredder offer a solution to reduce the volume of raw rubber waste by transforming it into small particles. This shredding process not only minimizes the volume of waste but also makes it more suitable for recycling purposes. Dry rubber waste is particularly valuable as it can be recycled to extract grease and lubricant oil used in machinery, as well as the vulcanized compound from the manufacturing process, which can be reprocessed and reformulated into new rubber products. Moreover, rubber waste has found applications in road construction, surfacing, and as a fuel source in cement factories. Why Shredding and Recycling Rubber Waste Matters Cost-Effective Recycling Recovered rubber from shredded tire waste costs significantly less than natural or synthetic rubber. This cost-effectiveness makes it an attractive option for various industries, particularly those looking to reduce production costs. Enhanced Properties Recovered rubber often exhibits properties that are equal to or even better than those of virgin rubber. This makes it a valuable resource for manufacturing a wide range of products, from automotive parts to consumer goods. Energy efficiency. The production of rubber from reclaimed materials requires less energy compared to manufacturing rubber from virgin sources. This energy efficiency contributes to a reduced carbon footprint and lowers overall environmental impact. Effective disposal. Recycling through shredding offers an efficient and eco-friendly way to dispose of unwanted rubber products, which can be challenging to manage through traditional waste disposal methods. Conservation of resources. The recycling of rubber conserves non-renewable petroleum products, which are used in the production of synthetic rubbers. This resource conservation is essential for sustainable manufacturing and environmental protection. Job creation. Recycling activities in the rubber industry can generate employment opportunities, especially in developing countries. These jobs contribute to economic growth and poverty reduction. Diverse product range. Reused tires and other rubber products can be transformed into a wide array of useful items, such as playground surfaces, sports fields, shoe soles, and even fuel sources. Energy reclamation. Incinerating tires to recover embodied energy is another avenue for recycling rubber waste. This process yields substantial quantities of energy, further reducing waste and reliance on fossil fuels.
Applications of Recycled Rubber Recycled rubber from shredded tires and other rubber waste finds applications across numerous industries and products. Some of the notable applications include Rubberized asphalt Recycled rubber is often incorporated into asphalt mixes to create rubberized asphalt, which enhances road durability, reduces road noise, and improves skid resistance. Playground surfaces. Shredded rubber is commonly used as a safety surface material in playgrounds and sports facilities. It provides cushioning and reduces the risk of injuries from falls. Sports fields. Rubber infill made from recycled tires is used in synthetic turf sports fields. It enhances shock absorption, stability, and durability of the playing surface. Automotive products. Recycled rubber can be used in manufacturing automotive parts, such as gaskets, seals, and vibration dampening components. Footwear. Rubber waste is transformed into shoe soles and other footwear components, reducing the environmental impact of the shoe manufacturing industry. Construction materials. Shredded rubber can be used in various construction materials, including roofing materials, soundproofing products, and insulation. Agricultural use. Rubber mulch made from recycled tires can be used as a weed barrier and moisture retention layer in agriculture. Fuel source. Some industries use shredded rubber as a fuel source, particularly in cement factories and industrial boilers, where it serves as an alternative to fossil fuels. <laughs> 